I'll never have none, not have my cell phone next to me because I really wish I was there to answer that call. It was one of the most compelling stories we covered 20 years ago. A man who not only lost his wife on 9 11, but also missed a final chance to hear her voice. Dwayne Orlowski was uh, director of the Student Center at Central Connecticut State University for years. That's where he was on the morning of 9 11, doing the work he loved. It's also why he missed that call. September 11, 2001, was an ordinary day before it wasn't, and Dwayne Orlowski was in an ordinary meeting, and so he missed a call from his wife. He was director of the Student Center at Central Connecticut State University. She was at work at Marsh and McLennan on the 96th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center. My wife, she was wonderful. Dwayne doesn't know when Margaret called, whether it was before the attack or possibly after having come to the heartbreaking conclusion she would not be coming home and had called to say goodbye. Either way, Margaret's final words and wishes for Dwayne went unsaid and unheard. What did that feel like at the time? Oh, it was, it was not a, it was a, it was a, I was in a daze. What followed was a long grieving and healing process that 20 years later is still only partly complete. It never goes away. I mean, if you know, I, um, you cry less, you um, reminisce less. Duane says he never would have gotten through it without his colleagues at CCSU. They took care of me for months. They, they came out and brought meals on a regular basis and they checked up on me. Duane finally retired in 2007 and is remarried now, but even 20 years later, some pain remains and there is also a smoldering anger. So many family members of 9-11 victims talk about finding purpose in the wake of the attacks and Duane's purpose is getting to the bottom of them, discovering who's responsible and culpable and seeing them held accountable. Oh yeah, I'm part, I'm part I, I've, I've joined the, joined the litigation in that some time ago. Families of the victims filed a lawsuit accusing Saudi Arabia's government of helping the hijackers and their accusations Iran and Sudan were also complicit and charges the U.S. government knows more than it is revealed. Duane wants to see all of it exposed to the light. And our government has a lot of documentation that I know our lawyers are trying to get their hands on to find out what we knew. I'm just angry that there's there's um, there's a there's there's more truth to be known and it's being hidden. Now, the Justice Department said last month it will work toward providing the families of 9-11 victims more information about the investigation into Saudi involvement in the attacks. And President Biden has said he is, quote, committed to ensuring the maximum degree of transparency under the law.